See now. See nose now. Nose don't reduce. Nose don't lose weight. This is war. Wahala. Hmm. Makeup review gone wrong. Now I'm the one being reviewed. <laughs> Try to imagine Ariana Grande with dreads. That's me. Yeah. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, don't even hesitate. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. I know I've not finished the video yet, but just shall give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. To my existing and new subscribers, thank you for joining me onto this journey to success. Now today's video is going to be fun, maybe chaotic or controversial i do not know yet but this is going to be my first time reviewing a makeup product or a makeup brand bear in mind that these are my opinions i'm going to be reviewing a nigerian product elegance beauty makeup we're going to check the website together and then know more about this brand um, Safari cannot open the page because the server cannot be found. I do not know. I will also check with my phone because I'm filming with my iPhone. So I'm going to check if it's still the same issue. That means we'll just proceed with the video. At the back of their product, they wrote elegancebeautymakeup.com. So I wonder why the website is invalid. But aside that, we already have what we want at hand. So let's just dive into the makeup. My face is well primed right now. Let's dive straight into the foundation. So I have two different um, packaging for Elegance Beauty Foundation. I have this one. And I have this pump in here oh my, this thing thick oh why it thick like that okay let's see this one okay this one is a bit runny i think this foundation is too much here i am mixing the foundation the foundation no, let me see if it's my shade or not i'm a good mixologist so uh, yeah, it is my shade, but this thing to tick badge. Mm -mm. Let's just see how well it blends on the skin. It feels very dry. This is not bad. My sins have been washed away by this foundation and I am not mad about it. Not one bit. And it's my shade. Hmm. Okay, what are my honest thoughts about these foundations? They are not bad at all. Not bad at all, but the only issue I have is the consistency. It is too thick. But I am not mad. I am not mad about this coverage at all. I'm not mad about it. And using my beauty sponge actually melts everything okay i think this foundation is it and it's covering my fine lines on my forehead which is dope as fuck this foundation is giving what it's supposed to give now let's move to the concealer i have two different shades of concealer i have 03 karachi and 10 coffee this one for contouring my face giving my face definition giving my face structure this is something that i really love but my students have used this and she complained and i'm like just keep it down when i'm going to use it i am going to use it so today is the day that i'm going to use this concealers this one to be precise so i am going to be highlighting my under eyes to zhuzh up this look I usually let my concealer to sit 
for a minute or 30 seconds or 40 seconds before I blend but this one is drying so fast so I really want to okay hmm. see what I'm talking about the harsh lines hmm it's not blending oh blood of it's not blending oh I don't know if it's an eye bag I reject it in the mighty name of Jesus I don't know if it's an eye bag that I'm maybe is a sign of me getting old but this is not hey ha it's not blending okay you don't touch and smoke okay huh okay see the way I'm, I'm pounding my face i am pounding my face because i allow this thing to sit for just 10 seconds this is where wahala wahala i'm sure you guys can see the struggle with blending this concealer it is not supposed to be like that I totally disagree if you say a concealer is a concealer should be thick and dries down fast then you need rehabilitation because this is this is this is felony i think this concealer is an immediate needs an immediate blending when you apply you blend immediately because i can see how easy it is for me to blend the left side and the right side because i left the right side to sit for a couple of seconds compared to the one on my left so the left i applied and i blended out I blended it out immediately and there are no harsh lines there are no harsh lines and good thing my sponge is wet so it could actually blend everything in quickly I love to contour my nose because my nose is like 10 kg and when I contour it brings it down to like 4 kg or 3.5 kg so contouring my nose is an art form that I will never ever let go of this 10 kg nose have seen hell so we are not going anywhere baby not angry why am I not angry with this product I swear I wanted to be angry with this product but I am not angry is doing what it's supposed to do just that it has few commas few question marks okay now this is you now this is the darker shade of concealer that i love to use to give my face structure maybe give my face a fake facelift and also reduce the weight of my nose because this nose is huge So I just apply it to. On. Can you see? I don't know if you can see, but me I can see. But can you see? See now. See nose now. Nose don't reduce. Nose don't lose weight. So pardon me. I do not have an elegance beauty setting powder or a powder palette, but I have something else that I know I can actually sorry like i have something else i know i can actually use to bring the look to life apply my concealer and it try to move in an upward direction so i always try to move in an upward direction so my face doesn't so my face doesn't look soggy doesn't look dragged so and then bring it up to your temple. Everything we make up is about blending. The perfect blend will give you a perfect finish. So always blend. So I've already applied my base for the eyeshadow. Now this is the Elegance Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. As you can see, I have not used this palette at all it is brand new most of these products are brand new and most of my some of my friends some of my friends have used this palette and i don't know if it's edit but they look pigmented now let's check if this palette is as pigmented as they say now that we've seen how pigmented these colors are let's 
pop them on i've already done this side of my eyes now let's do this other side the colors are not disappointing this yellow has a lot of fallout some don't the orange doesn't have fallout at all the red no fallout but this yellow even the purple some of this like the black swatch the purple swatch i don't know how this swatch. thing looks on camera i hope this camera is picking every color i hope it picks everything and don't make me look ashy okay i'm liking this one more than this now mm. the way i'm always panicking when doing my eyes in front of camera like this eh? I'm, my, I'm not my mind is not at rest Okay, now let me draw these wings. Makeup review gone wrong. Now I'm the one being reviewed. <laughs> well, I am so sorry. It's too early for mistakes on this channel. It is too early. Maybe later, later on, you can be seeing my errors and, and know that we don't get it perfect on our first try. We have to do it, refix, do it over again either we refix it or we do it over again like we have to start from like the beginning i mean i don't have the strength to start from the beginning you see this eyeliner it will not embarrass me it's still not looking equal see are you seeing are you seeing it's still not looking equal again but this one will shall will just move i hope this eyeshadow pigmentation is clear on the camera because like i said this is a review video today and i hope i am doing justice to these products now we have reviewed the eyeshadow palette it is giving what it's supposed to give like with the naked eyes i don't know about the camera understand so now i'll move on to the lips i do not have an elegance beauty lip kit or lipstick or lipstick or whatever it is so I'm just going to do something new. My lips are naturally voluptuous, so I need to overline my lips to make it more voluptuous than it naturally is. Don't be scared to use your hands. Your hands are your best tool. So this is how I do it. Sometimes oh, I use... We are almost done. Let me put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Yeah, so this is the finished look, guys. I hope I did justice to creating this masterpiece using this product. Is it worth your money? 50% yes, but the price range. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys how much they cost. Silly me. I, mean, I don't know if I'll put it in the description box below so you guys can actually know. If you want to buy this product, fine. If you don't want to buy it, but the only thing I do not like about this product, especially the foundation and the concealer, is the fact that they dry up quickly, which is something that as a makeup artist or as a beauty enthusiast you find it very difficult to like work with and blend easily as you can see in my video the concealer was actually very hard to like blend unless i had to like keep dabbing and keep dabbing and you do not want to do that on your clients else you're going to like cause um unnecessary headaches so the concealer consistency is too thick the foundation consistency is thick as well and then it dries out quickly 
I wish they were a bit um, loose and a bit creamy, but they are not. They are just pasty. They just they just have a pasty consistency, which was actually difficult for me to work. But I still had to find my way with this product as a professional. So if you are a beginner, I would advise you get something that you can actually easily work with. If it's a loose foundation, probably like Hega and Esther or Zika Cosmetics, they're actually very creamy and they blend easily, unlike this one. But like I said, this also does the work, but it's going to take you time to blend and build and then keep layering product upon product with it. And then for the, for the eyeshadow palette, yes, it is pigmented, no doubt about that, but I still wish that colors still pop out more than they actually are all the matte colors on the eyeshadow palette are they all have different textures some actually have heavy fallout and some don't and some actually pigmented than the others so you need to like at the point they need to like balance and manage how this product how the production of this palette and colors actually are so thank you for watching today's video thank you thank you thank you and thank you for returning to my channel to see what i have in store for you guys so if you are new to my channel you already know what to do hit the subscribe button turn on the not notification bell and you're welcome to the family as for my returning subscribers thank you guys for sticking with me and this is just the beginning this is our journey to success so see you guys next time and bye-bye.